Hi everyone and welcome to Password State Tutorials. In this short video I'll show you how you can begin adding data into your password state environment. As you can see I have a password list already created called admin passwords and I have nothing inside of it. The first method to getting data into password state is to click the add button and add in one record at a time manually and we just need to fill out the relevant fields in here we'll just call this test, we'll generate a random password if you wanted to insert any more fields you can and then we just click save and now you'll see that well, I have a single record called test with a random password that we generated the second option you can do is instead of adding in passwords one at a time we can use an import feature which will guide you through a three step uh, wizard and that will import data from a CSV file so you can pre-populate a, a CSV file with as many password records as you like including the title or the URL and the password and run through this wizard and it will automatically pull all of that information into your password list alternatively if you wanted to do this on a bigger scale you can go into the administration area password lists perform bulk processing and bulk password import and in here it's the same sort of thing where you have a predefined or pre-populated CSV template but you can import that data into multiple password lists at once so this is handy if you're coming across from another system and you've already got all your passwords set up in a particular structure that you like you can use the bulk import feature in password state to do that quickly and last but not least password state also has uh, an API an application programming interface and it is possible to insert data into password state via scripts. You can do this using your favorite programming language like PowerShell or curl for example. So if you'd like to know more about how our API works, please go to the help menu and click web API documentation. This document here gives you all the examples and information you need to use the API to insert data into your password state environment. If you need more information on the importing procedures, please look for the links in the description of this video or visit our clickstudios.com.au website and look for our training videos link. That's it for this short video and thanks for watching.